today I got something pretty nice. I've reviewed Dragon Touch frames, digital frames before, and they've actually sent me a ginormous one, <laughs> Dragon Touch. Uh, this is a huge one, and I mean huge. This is very, very big. So I'm actually very, very excited. This is the Classic 15 digital photo frame. It looks like it's going to be great. It's got 16 gigs room for memories. It's a 15.6 screen, photo to frame sharing, invite friends to share, easy operation, photos and footage sharing, very nice and easy. So as always, make sure you guys do check the description below, try to give you guys some, some good deals and some good setups right there. So check the description below. Also, if you could do me a favor, pause for the cause, hit the thumbs up right now, boom. And then you guys are going to be entered in a giveaway very very appreciated so thank you very very much now this is going to be really hard for me to do because it is a big box so i'm going to try to do my best here uh so i'm going to have this one and then that camera up there to show you guys but check this out this thing for one is heavy it is very very heavy and i hope you guys can see how big this thing is it's i hope you guys appreciate it because it's very very big so Getting started, power your frame on, connect your photo frame with, with the Wi-Fi, find the frame ID, download the Our Photo app, sign in, find your frame, accept user agreement, and start uploading. It's that, it's literally that easy. So there you go, very, very nice. Now this is cool, the other frame didn't have this stuff. This, this one actually has a, a remote, and this is kind of interesting because I've never, seen a frame with a remote before now you do get your power supply here so some good stuff right there and then you do get the the i guess the stand here this is gonna this is gonna go behind the frame and then a little book here thing here at the bottom is you get a, a user manual and a guarantee and then this is your tools that you get so very very nice it has a little frame here that you could use if you're gonna frame it on the wall so very very nice just like a tv now, the great thing about this one, you'll see there it has the, the three, uh, it looks like just three dots. On the back of this thing also has three dots. So all you gotta do is literally just align it just like this. And it'll probably be much easier actually if I set it down. So just line it up just like that on the, on the bottom and then you will have a little screw to tighten that up. So I'll go ahead and bring it over here to this other one. So that way you, you guys could see it a little bit better. So again, you get your three dots right there and you just line it to these three dots right there. Very, very simple. And then just use the screw and just screw it on right here just like that. It's, it's literally that simple. Now that we have the base docked in right there, let's just go over a couple things here. So this will be your power button right there. And then here on the side, you get a couple extra settings right there. So you will get your DC, your mini USB, a standard USB, a head jack, and then a giant SD card if you have one of those. Now I did already connect the power supply here. So all I'm gonna do is just plug it in and let's see what this thing does. So there you go, it's starting to power up. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this plastic. So here you go, I know there's a slight glare. I know it's gonna be a little bit hard to see. The first thing it shows you guys here is your network. So it just connect it to your network. Now I always tell everybody, connect it to your 2G, not your 5G. These devices like 2G over 5G, um, and that's how they're compatible with. So go ahead and do that. Click on your, your, your 2G, everything's all touch screen, and then just enter your password. Once you are connected, just make sure you choose your language, choose a city if you want, and then hit next. Now, this is very, very nice. It tells you here, this is how the setup. So let's guide you. Share by app. The first step you need on your device is to find your, your frame ID. So you go to your device info. It gives an ID just like this. Tell your friend to download the app and you should be good to go. Now the Our Photo app is gonna look just like this. So all you gotta do is just click on it and then be ready to go. Now once you're done, go ahead and hit next. And again, it's just gonna give you guys some steps here on how to do this stuff. It says, please download the app and then log in. Now this is gonna be a little bit easier. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this here so that way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, with my cell phone. So when you do get something like this, you wanna hit devices. You can see I already have the one in the family room and then you wanna add device. So you hit that little plus sign, device name. So I'm gonna put the 15 frame cause this is the, the big one. 
you got to create your own user ID and then put in the frame ID number in there. It's very, very simple. Now, once you do, it says request to bind and it says right here, waiting for confirmation. So let's come here. So now that I got the waiting for confirmation, I'm going to come here to settings. You want to go to user management and it says pending user request. So hit accept. It's gonna do its little thinking and now I am connected. So now just hitting refresh, the pending thing goes away and now I have it right here, 15 frame. I am good to go. So this one's gonna be very, very simple. If I do hit that back button with my devices and files, I could pretty much do whatever I want at this point. And I could tell it exactly if I want it on one or both. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and send them to both. And now it says sending and boom and done now if i do click on this check this out i'm gonna have i'm gonna have my puppy there now uh set up to the <laughs> to the device right there so it's very nice and easy as you can see um very very simple to set up and and the cool thing about this too is is you could landscape it to different ways so if you want it to be hanging up like this you can if you want it sideways you could definitely do that too so very, very nice, very, very easy. As you can see, I'm only holding it with one hand. It's it's not heavy at all. So there you go. Wanted to give you guys some good stuff right there. Some crazy nice stuff. And with smart tech, you could do so many things. And just with just taking a picture, you could upload it and then you're good to go. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As always, I try to hook you guys up as much as possible. Check the description below. Very simple setup. You guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.